here we have fountain 1736. It has a shell as a spout. It's a small fountain in blue with uh, a wave structure on the surface all around. And the shell. So this fountain has a charcoal filter inside. In this demonstration I have a Trinkwell 360 filter system inside but you can get it with a uh, biofilter as well. Biofilter has loose charcoal inside. The charcoal is in a media bag. Something like this. There's a loose charcoal inside, approximately third cup, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's a most economic possibility. So you can also have a uh, UV light inside. It gives you a bit more uh, security because it kills bacteria and stuff that can be inside the UV light is a low voltage UV light. It comes with a 12 volt power adapter. And the pump has a flow control just in case this flow is a bit too much for your cat. Then just turn it down a notch and it will be quieter. Here we have the backflow. The backflow has a cover, it's a sieve cover, and inside there is a pre filter. Oh, Here's a pre filter, it's a special stainless steel, it's 8 in 8, and uh, here is a uh, foam pad that catches hair, food rests, a bit of debris. So that it doesn't reach the pump and blocks the pump. So now the fountain runs with uh, a wall power transformer, but you can connect it to a USB battery as well. Or you can connect it to D cells like this one. Or this one is a open uh, D cell holder. I use this D cell holder in my cordless battery fountain. There is a compartment inside the fountain, so you don't need a box. But for here, you can have a box where the D cells are inside. This tube here is. This uh, acts like a dummy battery, so you have three batteries instead of four, and so you have a lower voltage, and with a lower voltage, you have a lower a lesser flow. Then you see the flow at the moment is a bit stronger because of the five volt, and it flips a bit over the corner. Still inside the lid. Then it doesn't go over the edge here in the back. And it doesn't go here, it doesn't flow over the over the rim. It's all inside. But you have a pump with a flow control, so it just dims the flow control a bit down and you don't have this yeah bubbly water. So let's have a look closer. Let's look inside. So, but first we go back to our, oops, to our normal flow. So 
So let's look inside. Switch it off. Let's take, so there's my little tool. No. Ah, yeah. So the so fountain comes with a little tool, so you can remove sift cover. You can also, or this fountain comes with a, a securable sift cover as well. So there is a pin, you push it through the sift and through this hole, and so Kitty can't pull the sift cover out and not the sift can't pull the sieve out. So here, filter foam. So. so inside there is a the pump pump has a flow control. Here you can switch it to lesser or more flow. And it has a filter housing. In this case it's a Trinkwell 360 inside. I have I made a video and explaining all the different filter options we have for our fountains. Here this notch, so this notch here in the back the cable goes through. So, and here is the uh, uh, biofilter. The biofilter has this meter back inside. So, underneath, you see it's all, yeah, without hidden corners. There are no hidden corners in the bowl, no hidden corners up here where the water goes through, so it's easy to clean and yeah, not a big deal. So here you have a closer look to the shelves, so you can see how the water bubbles out of the top. I. Uh, I equipped the fountain for this demonstration with an adjustable power transformer so you can see the different settings. So here a bit higher. Lower and just a bit. Now you have a quiet flow with a low setting. Either of the power transformer or of the pump.